I see you are playing a game. What game are you playing? Hey, Kelly. I'm playing my old copy of Pokemon Red. I found my old Game Boy the other day and wanted to play again. Wow. I can't believe you still have that. And it still works? Yeah. I was pretty surprised too. It just needed new batteries. I like Pokemon. The characters are so cute. Jigglypuff is my favorite. Who is your favorite Pokemon? Well, are we talking about the original 151 Pokemon or are we including the 800 others that have come out since? There are more? Yeah. With every generation, there are about 150 more Pokemon added to the franchise. I think we're on the eighth generation now, if I'm not mistaken. To answer your question, my favorite Pokemon is Arcanine. I remember, as a kid, having one of the Pokemon trading cards. I always kept him facing outward. I actually carried that card around so much that the ink rubbed off. That's cute. But how has Pokemon stayed so popular after all this time? I think it has to do with how accessible the franchise is. No matter who you talk to, everyone knows the name of at least one Pokemon. And to the same point, every Pokemon is at least one person's favorite, even Trubbish. Yeah, that's true. Some Pokemon are really famous, like Pikachu. Pikachu. Everyone knows Pikachu. Exactly. It also helps that the anime has been on TV in North America for over 24 years and has been watched by three generations of kids. I remember getting home after school, watching Pokemon on TV before the news came on, and being excited to see what adventure Ash Ketchum and his friends faced. Yeah, and the movies as well. Detective Pikachu was pretty big when it came out a few years ago, especially being a live action movie. I saw it and enjoyed it, especially the cute little Jigglypuff. Detective Pikachu was a lot of fun, and the cast of that movie was quite good as well. But we can't talk about Pokemon's success without mentioning where the franchise all started from. The TV show and trading card game are all fun, but Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow for Game Boy were groundbreaking in the role playing game genre, particularly on handheld devices. Instead of only having a small group of characters to play as, like in Final Fantasy, Pokemon challenged you to catch, train, and battle with over 150 Pokemon. Playing the game was easy enough for casual fans to enjoy, but expansive enough that hardcore gamers would rise to the challenge to complete their Pokedex and level up every Pokemon in the games. And still today, Nintendo continues to release consistently good Pokemon games, built off the same fundamental mechanics of the original games. But with enough added content and challenges to keep the games feeling fresh. The characters are cute and fun, not to mention the success of the trading card game and the huge popularity of Pokemon Go. Yeah, I remember walking around for hours, spinning Poke Stops and catching Pokemon in 2016, and people gathering in parks and near street art pieces. It was a lot of fun. Even still, when you go to the store now, there's always Pokemon cards for sale. Yeah. Sometimes when I feel a bit nostalgic, I'll buy a pack of cards. They look so much more fancy than they did back when I was a kid. As a matter of fact, some cards are so rare and sought after that people pay thousands of dollars for one in good condition. Did you know that a first edition Charizard sold for over $350,000 a few months ago? That's crazy. What are the cards all about? Do people play still? Of course. The cards are collectible to some, but they are actually part of a game. People gather at their local game shops to play in tournaments with friends or participate in large events at conventions. But you can still find kids trading them on the playground and playing the video games on their Nintendo DSs. Wow. I didn't imagine they'd still be so successful. That's awesome. Can you show me how to play sometime? I like card games. Sure. But it's a bit more complicated than a regular card game. We'll have to play together sometime. Hi, I'm Matt. Hello, I'm Kelly, and we're learning and exploring interesting things in English and Western culture. Comment down below who your favorite Pokemon is and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you again for watching and have a wonderful day.